How to protect your feminine energy in the midst of stressful situations, especially when you're dealing with difficult people. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. How can you protect your feminine energy when you are in stressful situations? How can you stop yourself from becoming the very people or situation that you're dealing with? As feminine women, we never want to get in the habit of allowing our environment to shift how we operate. We like to have our environment adapt to us. We don't allow negativity and stress and aggravation to get us all out of sorts and get us acting like the very people we can't stand. We don't want to become all agitated and stressed out and acting crazy and being mean. We don't want to do those kind of things all because we're under stress. Understandably, sometimes you're going to have a moment. You will have times where you feel like, you know what, this is irritating me. She's agitating me. He's agitating me. I can't take this. But you do not want that to be your default setting as a woman. So how can you protect your feminine energy, your feminine softness in the midst of stress? Well, the number one way you can do that, in my opinion, and this helps me, is to meditate in the moment. Yes, meditate in the moment. I'm not saying close your eyes and sit there and be a meditation. I mean, think about something positive in your mind in that moment. For me, when I'm in a stressful situation or when I'm having a difficult conversation or there's something I have to deal with, I meditate upon the scripture. I like to keep scriptures in my mind and in my spirit, number one, because God wants me to do that, but number two, because it helps me to stay level-headed and keep my feminine softness and keep my class and decorum about myself, even when I am upset about something, even when I am highly agitated, even when I feel like the situation is a little bit too much. And a lot of people experience this when they're at work a lot of times, meditate. Don't allow your environment to weigh on you so heavily to the point where now you're carrying that situation home with you, where now the situation is over, but you're still home thinking about what you could have said, what you could have done. Why didn't this? Why didn't that? When you meditate, it's like you're releasing control. You're releasing control of all outcomes. You're no longer worrying about what happened. You are in the moment and you realize that Things normally are not as bad as you make them out to be, or you have a lot more control over the situation than what you realize. I'm going to stick with the workplace for a moment because a lot of people get highly stressed out when they're at work, depending on the nature of the job. And especially if you're front facing where you're dealing with people, a lot of times your patience will be tried and tested. And I know every workplace I have worked in, I always meditate when I'm there. I always have worked on computers so I can flip between screens and I'll look at scripture. I'll read something positive. I'll think about different recipes, you know, focusing your mind on things that are good, that are of a good report. That is good for you as a woman. Not only does it help you to stay calm in the situation, but it helps you to stay in your feminine softness and you don't allow the world to harden you by what's going on around you. So number one thing you can do to stay in your feminine energy, to stay in your feminine softness is to meditate. And for me specifically, I meditate on the word of God. I say you should try it. All right. And then the number two thing you can do to stay in your feminine softness in the midst of stress is to take a time out. Your job is not as important as your well-being. I know that's not really the way of the world. People think money, you know, you get rich or die trying. No, as a feminine woman, we do not allow our bodies to withstand so much craziness and so much tension and so much hostility for long periods of time. Even if you're in the work environment, there have been many times where they said, you can't walk away at this time. You got to let somebody know. You got to do this. You got to do that. There was a time when I got so overwhelmed by something. I didn't care about the rules. I didn't care about what they said. I walked away and got myself together. As feminine women, 
We don't worry about rules. We don't worry about somebody else's expectations. We focus on our well-being. And if something is happening in the moment that is getting us all tensed up and making us feel uncomfortable and uneasy within ourselves, we throw out what they say and we do what's best for us in the moment. So do not be afraid to take a time out, even if it's in your workplace. If you have to have a customer or a guest or whoever wait for you while you collect yourself, do that. No amount of money is worth you as a woman being mentally and physically unstable. And many people stay in work environments and relationships that cause them to become mentally and often physically unstable. As feminine women, we do not do that. So the number two way you can deal with stress in the moment is to take a time out from whatever it is that you're doing. Even I have to tell myself a lot of times because when I get really into, you know, making my content and working on my shop and other things that I'm really trying to do, sometimes I forget to eat. And my stomach will let me know you need to eat because I start feeling like a um, little bit of indigestion. I start feeling a little bit heartburny because just a little health note. If you deal with reflux, if you go too long without eating, that can also cause reflux flare ups. And I experience that more times than not because sometimes I'm guilty. I don't listen to my body. I'm so focused on what I'm doing that I will allow the acid to just build up and build up to where I have this burning, gnawing feeling, knowing I need to eat, but I'm too busy writing a book. I'm too busy doing this. As women, and this is a note to myself, we have to get better at listening to our bodies and taking rest and taking a time out when our bodies tell us to do so. And it doesn't matter what you're doing in the moment. Like I said, your job, the way I see it, I don't worship jobs. I don't worship managers and bosses. I respect them for their title and what they do. But when it comes to your health and your well-being, that has to come first. And when a woman gets more in touch with her femininity, she understands that the health and well-being, especially mentally and physically, that has to be top priority. So don't be afraid to take a time out when you're in intense stress. Number three thing you can do when you are feeling stressed out and overwhelmed by life, this is a feminine woman habit to do, do something light like going shopping. See, I'm not trying to encourage you to go broke, to be, you know, the, what do they say that um, retail therapy? Well, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of retail therapy within reason. And I would say that if you're a feminine woman, you are a woman is concerned who is concerned about having financial wellness. So you're not going to go outside of your means, but have a little retail, retail therapy. There's nothing wrong with going out, going shopping, looking at pretty items. You know, doing these kind of things will help you to stay in your femininity. It will help you to stay in that feminine softness. And it will take your mind off of whatever it is that's stressing you out in the moment. You know, there have been times where recently we had a situation with, you know, my husband in the car and we had to take care of some things, but the whole situation for the past week, it had really been bothering me. And I decided, you know what? Yes, I need to call these people. They already know about the situation. I need to call them. But I've been dealing with so much on top of doing, making those calls for my husband and all of that. I'm going to call them later. I'll call them tomorrow morning. Right now, I'm going to TJ Maxx. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now because I've been dealing with this for the past few days. Nothing's happening. They're doing what they can do. I've done what I can do. I'm going to TJ Maxx and I'm going to look around. I'm going to Marshall's, okay? That's where I'll be. He asked me, okay, did you call them back? I tried to call them. Same situation. I'll try again tomorrow. I'm going to TJ Maxx. Don't let things, even the serious things, and don't feel like you're not a mature woman or that's irresponsible. You need to focus on that thing until it's done. No, I'm not saying negate your responsibilities, but if you have done what you know to do and you can't control the outcome in the situation, wash your hands of it. I say cast your cares on the Lord is what I did and what I do. I do what I can do, nothing more, nothing less. And I kind of let things play out the way they need to, especially when I've done all I need to do. 
and then I go to TJ Maxx or Bath and Body Works or Marshalls or Saks or wherever I choose to go in the moment because I need to stay number one, calm, level-headed, sober-minded so that I can deal with the next thing. And I can't do that if I don't have that in-between time to think, rejuvenate, stay in that feminine softness so that I can deal with whatever comes up next. You see, as women, taking breaks in between the craziness of life helps us to better be equipped to deal with the things that come along next. You're always going to have some kind of challenge, some kind of issue you have to deal with. But you cannot consistently, on end, deal with stressful situations, be about business, 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 all the time, seriousness all the time, and not take any stops in between. So as a feminine woman, you have to know there's nothing wrong with taking mental breaks, physical break breaks, go shopping, take yourself to lunch, do little things that are going to make you feel good while you're doing your big girl task. Okay. Nothing wrong with it. So the number three way that you can eliminate stress and detox a little bit from stressfulness in your life and take a time out. Do a little retail therapy. Nothing wrong with it. Don't go broke doing it, but go shopping. There's nothing wrong with that. And then the last thing you can do in the midst of stressful situations, maybe situations that you want to see change, you can write down your thoughts and write out what it is that you want to do and how you see your life going. Journaling. See, I love journaling because when I see things written down on paper, it becomes more real for me. And then it also helps me to not forget why I'm doing what I'm doing. I speak about this in regards to people who work, especially women who work and you desire not to work a nine to five job anymore, or you want to become a business owner, or you want to be a, a content creator, whatever you want to do. It's very important that you write things down. Because we sometimes can have these euphoric moments. I know as women, we get very, you know, happy and, you know, we're excited about things in the moment. And then life starts lifing and you forget about the very task, the very goal that you have for yourself. The most important thing you can do in that moment when it feels like, okay, and this is the best motivation. Stress can motivate you to pursue your goals. I can tell you when I'm at work sometimes... Things that happen, it motivates me to keep going on YouTube. It motivates me to keep on writing my books. It actually is encouragement for me because it's like, you know, I don't want to deal with this. I'm not going to be dealing with this for the rest of my life. This agitates me. Thank you for reminding me why I need to continue with my content creation. Thank you for reminding me why I need to keep writing my books. Write things down, even when you're at work, even when you are at home and you're, you know, you're a stay at home mom and you're taking care of your kids and you have an idea pop in your mind, write it down so you can come back to that later and focus on that goal. Nothing eliminates stress more than planning out what you want to do and achieving that thing. If your job makes you stressed and you want to be a content creator, Focus on that. Write out the type of content you want to make and begin to do it. When you know you have options, that eliminates job stress. It's like I can walk out of here at any moment and it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, this is just completely real. As women, when we know we have options, that is a big stress eliminator. Knowing that you're never stuck in any situation because you have more control over your life than what you understand. That is a major stress eliminator. So as women, the last thing you can do, write out your vision. That's really what it is. Write out your vision. Don't let life just happen to you. And use stress as a motivator to do the things that you want to do. If your job stresses you out, every time you get discouraged while you're making a YouTube video, and this is real talk from me as a woman, think about how stressed you will be if you have to continue to deal with the things you have to deal with at work. Think about how stressed out you will be if you have to stay in that same relationship with that man who is mistreating you all because you have not written out a vision for yourself. All right. So as feminine women, don't be afraid to do things that help you to stay in your feminine energy, especially during times of high level stress. All right. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this until the very end, 
put the high heel emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.